Oh my god, guys, I just turned my lights off outside. Look at this. I am seeing this from here in South Florida. Yeah, if you've got neighbors that can shut off their lights, I know sometimes it's hard with dust to dawns and things, but um, we have got... I. I hate to sit here and say that this is what I'm looking at, but I, I watch this camera every day. This is my sky camera. I can rotate it 360 degrees on my big tower. And this is the first time I've ever seen a red sky to the north like that. And, of course, the sunset happened two hours ago, so it's not that. Um, I, I can't believe it's true. Um, let's take a quick peek back over here. This one's still going pretty good. Um, sorry guys, I'm I'm a little giddy right now. I almost I almost believe that we can see the Aurora Borealis from here at the studio in Southwest Florida. Oh my God, I almost think I need to call somebody or do something. I almost think my son should have been a blonde. We're live, babe. <laughs> I'm sorry to you blonde-headed folks out there. I'm talking about the bottle dye blonde because it soaks in your brain and makes you a dingbat. I'm going to drive up there and beat his ass. Where, who, that's, in, that's up there? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Guys, um, yeah, um, VTX is sending pictures of amazing Aurora Borealis in purple and red. Oh, my Lord. Here. Guys, this is the biggest solar oh, storm I can do this without showing stuff. in a very long time. <laughs> Phil, I think you're right. I freaking think I'm seeing auroras here in South Florida. Can I, you see it? I'm. Let's put VTX on. Uh, he is live. Go ahead, buddy. You're live. Yeah, so um, you I'm suck. Here in northern Alabama, and uh, we can see it. It was more intense a few minutes ago, but it's visible. It's red. The bands, kind of like god rays or sun dogs, uh, shining up from the bottom of the horizon up, and it's starting to permeate around the horizon. So at first it was just due north, now it's starting to actually circle around towards the east and west. So it's not a full 360 yet, but it's still it's making its way that way, and it's really really strong. With a camera, with a with a simple cell phone camera set to night mode, you can get amazing pictures of it, and with um, your eyes, you can see it. Yeah, see, you're seeing it there with your camera. That's incredible, man. Yeah, it's Dude. getting lighter. Yeah, it's starting to brighten up brighter. again. That's even brighter than it is uh, here right now, it almost looks like. Now, when, uh, when, we, when we go out and look at it, Joseph, it's not quite as bright to the naked eye. Mm. When well, we, yeah, I know. But all we really see is kind of a, a red haze. But then when I turn on the camera, I can almost see the pillars in it. I mean, it's crazy. Okay, then it definitely made all the way down there. Nope. Wow, well that's one hell of a geomagnetic storm, man. Wow. You ain't kidding, dude. Holy <laughs> crap. Let's see here while we're while we're checking that out. Um let's let's go back and take a look. Uh they I don't know that they've updated the Aurora Oval, but this is what we're showing right now for the Aurora Ova Oval out there. Uh and uh it is definitely showing down into Tennessee uh for the green. I believe right now that it's a lot lower than what this is showing, obviously. It 100% is lower than that, because that green ring indicates <laughs> like the fringe edges of where you should be able to see it. But you're seeing it down in Florida, so it's definitely way bigger than that. Yeah, I think we're making news right now, and, and the, the whole world hasn't realized it yet. I think this For thing's sure. even stronger, because, dude, this is Florida, and I, got, I, got, I am seeing an Aurora Borealis in Florida. Uh, here's the shot again from further north. Absolutely incredible. Yeah, and again, we're watching for power outages. Uh, if anything starts to pop up, we'll let you know. And uh, we are watching the Aurora. That's a live shot from southwest Florida where we can see the red Aurora. Um, I have this camera facing this way a lot, and I've never seen the sky red like that. This is, uh, uh, this is crazy. I don't know. I'm, I'm hoping that I'm seeing actually seeing it. And then this is a live shot. Uh, coming out of uh, 
of the further north up there. I'm not sure exactly where this shot's coming from. Um, let's see here. There's a, there's a lot of people. There's a lot of Aurora cams popping up that are just ones like for tonight. They're just temporary ones. Um, I'm trying to find some that are uh, showing anything uh, significant at this moment. Yeah. I am just so very surprised about that red. I don't know what all that red is. It's just crazy. It's kind of yeah. fading away. It's fading away now. Uh, but it, but it definitely was there earlier, for sure. Did you, did you go look, Nick? No, I get you, Peg. Uh, our cameras are recording it, our security cameras, and then what, whatever's in here. Yes. Mm, yeah, that red's just about gone here now in, in uh, South Florida. It's just about gone. But we're continuing to watch it, looking for power outages. I'm, I, my big concern tonight, guys, uh, believe it or not, is this is a big enough event that we could see disruptions in power grids around the around the world. Then that would be the the one thing that we would that that would be a bad, a really bad thing that could happen. I'm not saying I necessarily expect that. If it continues like this, uh, we we can slide right through something like this and not hopefully not have any power disruptions. So you know, and it's moved over because it was yeah, over it here was and over moved. here, and now it's over here. It's moved two or three times. So oh really? And it almost I completely goes lamps. away, and then it comes back. For those of you just joining us, we, saw we it, are we can see it in Florida. I know, and I, we still still just a little bit of it left there. I'll try to show you right there in the center of the screen. That red was about three right or four here. times brighter than that. Um, but yeah, that area right there, you can see the red there. And this is from up north, uh, further north from here. But what we're watching is Solar Storm 2024 as it happens here. This is wave one of six that are going to be coming through between now and Sunday morning. And here's what happens, okay? When these waves start coming in, they have, A, an accumulative effect, meaning that two's a little stronger because one came through last night, okay? That's an accumulative effect. Number two with these things that seems to be a, a thing is what they call a cannibal CME. When you have a cannibal CME, what happens is one wave is actually moving towards Earth and it's doing a great job, and then another wave forms behind it from a larger explosion. And when that second wave reaches the first wave, it gobbles it up right before it gets to Earth. That's called a cannibal CME. Those are extremely dangerous. We don't know, it's hard to tell in advance, if one of our six CMEs has ate up one of our other CMEs and we're going to have two arriving basically at the same time, meaning that the, the flux of energy coming in is going to be much higher.